rated one of the best schools around the world also. And we hope that from his experience today, we can learn of what we are doing right and what we can do better. Right? Um, without saying too much, on a very good topic, how and why should we learn? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How, 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 it's a huge, huge honor to be asked to come and speak to you. Uh, to you all this morning, and uh, thank you for giving up your weekend to, to come and listen to some, some guy from the UK that you've never heard of before uh, come and speak to you for a couple of hours. Um, Anil uh, gave me a little bit of an introduction um, around uh, what is a national leader of education, what does that do in the UK, um, what does that look like? Well, actually, I, I prefer to see myself as a global citizen. I'm not, I'm not necessarily from the UK, I work globally. Um, I work in every country that will that will have me, but also that uh, will listen to to uh, to what I have to say, and also to learn from the experiences I've had globally as well. I've been working in education now for about 20 years. Before that, I was an entrepreneur, and what I did was I came into education quite simply to do this: change. That's it. I I. I, as an entrepreneur, I said to myself, um, to make money, you have to be 100% successful. To be, to be truly successful, you have to have 100% commitment. I went into the education system in the UK, it was 70% successful. 70%. Actually, let's split that around. 30% failure rate. Is that good enough for an entrepreneur? No, it's not. So I started to question education and say, why have we got 30% failure rate? Why are 30% of our young people not making the grade and not having good life chances? And I needed to see the world in a different way and to make that change. And actually the education system came back at me and said, hold on a minute, Carl. This isn't your business. We've always done it this way. We've always accepted that 30% will fail. We've always accepted that until I said to them, if it was your child that was failing, is it acceptable now? And they said, no. No, it's not acceptable. And I also said, if you were to get on an airliner at an airport and the captain came across the speaker and he said to you, there's a 30% chance we'll crash today, what would you do? you would get off that error. So why do we accept it in education? And this isn't a UK thing, this is a global thing. This is everybody. I've talked to people in Australia, I've talked to people in India, I've talked to people in America. Everybody accepts a 30% failure, sometimes 50% failure. So I started to look at this and say, okay, what do I do that people need in the future? I'm going to show you some videos, I'm going to show you, I'm going to try and make it as interactive and get you involved as possible this morning. But I'm going to start by just posing a question. And this question comes from a little video that I'm going to show you. And quite simply it's, what is the future? What is the future of our world? Global. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> 